Uh oh. You! I've heard things about you. They call you the game room, the sanity of others. Hmm, alright. I'll play your game. Hopefully you won't lose my sanity. Mega Man X6, considered one of the worst Mega Man games in history. The story begins with a rather different timeline than what happened in the previous games. Zero becomes a maverick, X and Zero battle. That's the timeline that went on. In this game, an evil doctor summons dark power and unleashes a nightmare. Nightmare is a dark form which confuses reploids into giving them hallucinations. X must stop this nightmare. Throughout the journey, you fight many bosses aside from main bosses with your weapon. You also fight Zero and get him play as playable. I usually had some stages more once to get the weapons I'm missing. The game also has plenty of cutscenes and plenty of paths you could take. It has a long story which I got confused about but it all worked down the end. The game has a much different sound compared to the previous X4 and X5. These are a bunch of shorter tunes. I personally enjoy the sound that X6 has to offer. It is something different. I recall playing this game a lot a year ago. I personally think the music brings me back to such memories of exploring the world. It is indeed Capcom's brilliance. Overall, I personally think this is a great Mega Man game from what I've played so far. Indeed, I do not see why people hate it. Truth be told, I enjoyed X6. Sure, it has some difficult moments like Blaze Heat and Exchange. I personally thought it was an okay game. Huh, what was that? Huh, my game just reset. <sighs> My goodness, I understand why people have a hate for this game. I was only playing the easy mode. This game's no joke on extreme. It is one of the hardest Mega Man games I've played so far. Let me explain since there's a lot going on. First off, in some stages, there's light you could barely see where you are, making levels difficult to travel by. In one level, there's acid rain where you have to destroy all the acid rain generators. In order to do this, you must destroy objects. These objects are scattered throughout the room. There are also enemies in which you could run into which you lose health. It is going to make you die faster. But then, there's Blaze Henix. Hands down one of the worst stages I've ever played. You fight this boss throughout the stage. The boss health bar goes all the way up. I wouldn't say it's hard, it's just time consuming. But then there's one where you jump up. While well, fighting the boss, if you touch the purple lava, you die. It's so time consuming and hard. From development team, the original creator of Mega Man had nothing to do with this game. Zero! Nothing! In fact, he was working on a spin-off series, Mega Man series. However, Capcom essentially messed up his vision and he had to redo some part. So not only did Capcom make a bad game, they ruined the original idea of the creator! Adding more enemies and obstacles doesn't make the game more challenging. It makes it insanely hard! So much goes into this game. I just flat out didn't want to play it anymore. I just couldn't get through it. I've had enough of it! どうやってどうして落ちないの燃えるような太陽の世界にあなたを送ります。戦いたい? かかってこい。あなたの目的を満たす準備をしてください。
conclusion, do not, I repeat, do not play this game without rookie mode and on extreme mode. Worst mistake of my life.